With QGEL MT 3D Matrix, a good method to analyze your cells is to cast 3D discs. In this video, we demonstrate how to make 3D discs from your QGEL cell solution. Take your prepared vial containing MT 3D Matrix, buffer, and your cell solution. For instructions on how to prepare this mixture, please refer to the video called Encapsulating Cells with QGEL or QGEL's product information brochure available on QGEL's website. Prepare your pipette and your QGEL 3D disc caster or similar device. Note that the method described here is only a basic method for the bench. However, you may wish to cast QGEL into a more physiological relevant shape for your studies. Depending on the size of the disc that you want, pipette 20 to 100 microliters of the QGEL cell solution. Apply this drop to the QGEL 3D disc caster. We recommend you make discs no smaller than 20 microliters in volume. Repeat this step. until you have applied all the drops to the QGEL 3D gel caster. When you have finished, prepare the top transparent slide of the QGEL 3D gel caster. You only have 5-7 to seven minutes to work with the gel before it hardens, so remember to work quickly. You may wish to practice with QGEL buffer only beforehand to avoid wasting the QGEL mixture. Now connect the transparent slide to the 3D gel caster. This flattens the drops and makes little discs. Make sure you place the slide gently to avoid disturbing the drops as much as possible. Now place the gel caster into a cell culture incubator. The gel caster should remain in the incubator for 30 to 45 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. During this time, the QGEL powder and QGEL buffer react completely, making for a firm disc for later removal. Now let's see how to remove the gel discs from the gel caster. Soft QGEL can be delicate, and during the gelation process, parts of the discs may have stuck slightly to the surfaces of the caster. To minimize sticking, we recommend here a method to remove gels simply and fully intact. Prepare a pipette with phosphate buffered saline or PBS. Apply the PBS around the discs abundantly. Open the QGEL 3D disc caster carefully and to avoid gel sticking to the caster surfaces first detach slightly disc edges with a spatula to allow PBS to flow through upper and lower interfaces. This helps release the discs from the caster. Once the disc caster is opened, use the spatula to gently pick up each disc. Prepare your well plate and place each gel into each well of your well plate containing one milliliter of pre-warmed culture medium of your choice. We suggest that you replace the medium subsequently after two hours incubation. Thereafter, replace the medium according to your normal experimental conditions. QGEL MT3D matrix is fully transparent and encapsulated cells can be observed clearly after weeks, even months of culture. This image shows cells taken with a conventional light microscope. Because the cells are in 3D, cells in the foreground and background appear to be out of focus. Taken with a confocal laser microscope using fluorescence staining methods, pictures of the cells like this can be taken. Both these images are human foreskin fibroblasts cultured in 3D within QGEL MT 3D matrix. There are many other analytical methods compatible with QGEL MT 3D matrix. Cell viability and proliferation assays, immunocytochemistry and histochemistry, Expanded cells may also be recovered by dissolving the QGEL matrix by proteolytic digestion of QGEL with, for example, trypsin. 
For more information on analysis, we invite you to visit our website where you can find product information and recommendations on how to analyze your cells in QGEL.